I ain't got time for this! Please, damn it! I'm in a rush! So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole. For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Wells. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire teams checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. Hogaboom, weapons compass. Sir, sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them. We in are there. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. sitting there. Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. 
The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. Are you Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, Assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink. Then they buy you dinner. Then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? You think I fell down the stairs? Thanks for the patch-up, Princess. It might be the only R&R &R I get for some time. Remember me? Jack, it's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Get all of the stockholders. I need to follow the paper trail.
What exactly do I you expect to find, I knew you were in bed with the Legion, Jack? Curtis. Now I know why. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? I noticed that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. We'll see about that, Jack. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. It's soap, you know. I'm just going up to my office, Barty. Got to check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Well, you don't see that every day.
Never find out. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? Thirty four degrees, four minutes, twenty nine seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. There's got to be more in these files. There's something else in that report. I know. Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is $3,500. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a P.I. might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. Sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields developments? I ran it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you could turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. 
I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. Hello there. You need some help there, sir? The Land Registry Office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. This doesn't look like the land registry. Uh, that's because it isn't. It's just downstairs and across the way. Thanks. You sure you don't want to stay and keep me company? Maybe some other time, Princess. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Courtney, for God's sake, what's he got to do with this? I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. <laughs> 